Hi everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel and this week's meal plan. This week's theme is Homestead Projects, plural. <laughs> we have so much going on on the homestead this week, it's crazy. In fact, today we have two crews out here already this morning. And I think what I'm gonna do is make some chicken masala, a big batch of it with risotto and a salad. I can serve it to our work crews today for lunch and have enough prepared for dinner tonight. We have a lot of excitement going on at the homestead today. Ken is out there supervising, I see. We have two sets of crews. One is doing a lot of excavation work for us. I'm just making some chicken marsala and some risotto. Just gonna put the mushroom ring in here so they can start cooking. I use a barrio rice when I make risotto. Put in marsala wine. Just gonna add some chicken stock. Let that simmer for a while, probably half hour. Looks good already, huh? Now, when the uh, risotto cooks for a few minutes, the barrio rice, I don't know if you can see it. See how it gets that little white dot in the middle? I hope it's coming out on the video. That's when you want to hit the pan with some wine. and start stirring. And then from here on out, as the wine evaporates, I'm just gonna keep adding chicken stock. It takes 23 minutes. And I have a cook with me video on the marsala and the risotto, and I'll link both of those in the description box so you can get a more detailed uh, tutorial. Basically, you just keep stirring until all of the uh, broth is absorbed or mostly absorbed and then you just go ahead and hit it with another scoop of heated chicken broth. Keep stirring and the aborio rice releases some of the starch and it makes this really creamy risotto that is oh my gosh so good. It's been 23 minutes I added about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese turned off the heat get it mixed and we're gonna get this served. Here's what I fixed the guys for lunch. It is some risotto, chicken marsala, a salad, and I made enough that we can serve this for dinner tonight, so kill two birds with one stone. The crews are back out again today. They're just finishing up. Ken requested BLTs. He's been craving them, and I have some iceberg lettuce and tomatoes that I need to use up, so that's perfect. I also have a lot of leftovers, uh, corn, casserole, some ears of corn, some mashed potatoes, some chicken, different things like that. And I was thinking, what can I do with them? And then it dawned on me that I could make a chowder. I think that will be perfect. For dinner tonight, we're having BLTs, and we were able to use the leftover guacamole uh, in this dinner tonight. In addition, I had some leftover, quite a bit of leftover corn casserole, and we made that into a corn chowder. I'm going through the fridge, and I found quite a few leftovers from this week. I have some mashed potatoes. I have quite a bit of this 
casserole left over, a couple ears of corn, and then some chicken from the fajita chickens. So I'm kind of looking at this stuff and I'm thinking I'm gonna make a corn chowder with some chicken. I think that would be a good utilization of these leftovers. I'm gonna get this onion chopped, carrots, and celery chopped, and I'm gonna use the microplane to grate four cloves of garlic. I think that would be a nice base to the chowder. found a little bit of parsley kind of getting towards the end here. I'm going to chop this up and then I can use it to sprinkle on the chowder when it's finished cooking. I have the bacon grease left over from cooking the bacon for the BLTs. It's going to give this chowder a lot of flavor. I'm going to add the onions, carrots, and celery and get those going. little salt, not too much because the bacon grease is salty already. Little pepper. We're just going to cook these for a few minutes. I also found just a little bit of the fajita onions and bell peppers. I'm going to chop this up and put it in with the carrots, onions, and celery and let that cook too. And this will be used up. This is looking really great. I'm gonna add about a third a cup of flour and let this cook for a minute or so. In with the garlic. You can smell that as soon as it hits the pan. It's so fragrant. And I'm gonna add a seven ounce can of diced Ortega chilies. I think the chilies go so well with corn. Next, I'm just gonna add four cups of chicken broth and let this come to temperature. Now I'm just gonna start adding all of our leftovers. I have those two ears of corn. I cut the kernels off and I chopped up that leftover chicken. Yum. I'm going in with the leftover corn casserole. That has a ton of flavor. We actually had quite a bit of that left over, so into the pot it goes. And I'm gonna put these mashed potatoes in there as well. Gonna make it nice and creamy. Adding four cups of water. I'm gonna add a cup of heavy whipping cream and let this simmer for 15-20 minutes and this is going to be a delicious soup to have with our BLTs and I used all my leftovers. Win-win. I just tasted for the final seasoning and I think I'm going to add a couple of these Knorr chicken bouillon cubes just to bump up the flavor. It needs a little bit more salt anyway and I'll let this go another five minutes I think it's gonna be perfect. Here's our leftover makeover soup and it is delicious. The addition of those chicken bouillons really was a good call. Well, the chowder was a huge hit with the guys. They all had two bowls. One gentleman came back and had a third bowl. He said it was the best corn chowder he ever ate. He asked me for the recipe <laughs> and I gave him the deer in the headlight look like, well, I don't really have one. It was just a bunch of leftovers. <laughs> 
Anyway, they thoroughly enjoyed it and it was just a wonderful utilization of, of all of that stuff. Now today Ken and I are going to go pick up a big load of mulch for my flower beds. I don't think we'll get any mulching done today because we're going to be doing a lot of the uh, lawn work and Ken's getting the skip loader out. He's going to cut into this one berm. There's a little berm in the front that you can't really mow very easily so Ken's going to just work on that getting it flattened out. So I know we're going to be doing a lot of work. So I'm going to throw these beans in the crock pot and make those slow cooker refried beans and have tostadas and fresh fruit tonight and I'm keeping it very simple. Ken has a skip loader out trying to even up this berm over here by the front of the street. It's just been a problem when he mows the lawn. It's so uneven. So I'm glad he's getting this done because I know how much it bothers him. Here's the bean tostadas and they look delicious. This is actually one of my favorite dinners, surprisingly. But that's what we're having. Maybe cut up some fruit for dessert. This is a whole beef tenderloin and I paid $5.99 a pound when there was a big sale. I stocked up and I'm gonna make three dinners out of this. Steak Diane, broccoli beef, and shish kebabs. And this whole thing was $38, so pretty good. I'm gonna break down that beef tenderloin and the big hunks I'm gonna use in tonight's dinner, marinate them in a whiskey peppercorn sauce, make shish kebabs, uh, veggies on the grill, and steamed rice. For dinner, we're gonna have some shish kebabs, and I have uh, big chunks of the beef. It has been marinating in the peppercorn whiskey marinade. I'll put that recipe in the description box. We have a bunch of veggies, and we're cooking some rice. For dinner, we're having the shish kebabs, veggies, and the rice. Looks good, honey. Ken's been working hard. He worked until almost nine o'clock last night. He started clearing the three acres that he wants to get ready for his uh, pond. And that man is such a hard worker. It was nine o'clock. I had to say, come on in. It's nine o'clock. You can start in tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, our boys are helping them today. They're already at it, and they're gonna knock out the rest of that three acres today, hopefully. And I know they're gonna be hungry because they're all working hard, so I'm gonna make a very hearty dinner tonight. I have some cube steak in the freezer. I'm gonna make chicken fried steak with milk gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans, and brownies. I'm frying up some round steak in my iron skillet and I'm getting ready to make some milk gravy. I went ahead and took off most of the grease, except a couple tablespoons. I'm gonna add about two or three tablespoons of flour, salt and pepper, and just let this cook for a minute or two. So I added some salt and pepper. I turned off the heat. I think there might be enough residual heat in this pan. Just add some milk, scrape the bottom, let it come to temperature, and just make sure that Got the right consistency. If you need to, you can add a little bit more milk. And that's what the gravy should look like. Yum, yum. For dinner, we're having the fried round steak, the milk gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans, and a salad. And I am starving tonight. We worked so hard today. The last few days, Ken has been clearing about three acres. 
He has it almost done. There's still a little, little bit there. And we have a natural spring on the property there, so I don't know if he's gonna be able to get that with the equipment or you'll have to do it by hand. But he's just clearing out this property because this is where his pond's gonna go. It's gonna be about an acre pond. And he's bringing in and just kind of doing a little site prep work. And I would be amiss if I didn't tell you that he was gonna stock that pond with rainbow trout. <laughs> Saturday, we have the wood boiler team coming out. They're going to be putting in all the tubing for the boiler. Also, they're putting domestic water from the house to the garage. So that filet mignon, the whole filet mignon that I broke down, I cut some really nice steaks. I'm going to make steak Diane for lunch. I'm going to make enough that I can serve it to my family for dinner. And it's going to be great. Cook once. <laughs> Feed them twice. <laughs> A couple of our boys are helping the installers. That's that big tubing that I was telling you about that's for the radiant heat. And looks like Ken's out there with one of the gentlemen today. They're running the domestic water to the garage and the radiant heat tubing. So that's what we got going on today. For dinner tonight, we're having steak, Diane, garlic mashed potatoes, and a medley of fresh vegetables. Well, thank goodness for Sunday because we needed a day of rest around here. I'm making that Chick-fil-A copycat tenders along with the Chick-fil-A sauce. That sauce is to die for. I could bathe in the sauce, just saying. <laughs> Serving it with waffle fries, fruit cups, and lemonade. And we're gonna have it on a Sunday too, because you know Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday. For dinner, we're having the Chick-fil-A tenders with the Chick-fil-A sauce. This sauce is so good. This recipe for this Chick-fil-A sauce is so, so good. I'll put a link to it in the description box. We're having waffle fries and just a little fruit cup. And I'm excited to be having Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. As far as our grocery list this week, it's pretty small. I'm going to pick up some potatoes, green beans, mushrooms, a bell pepper. I'm completely out of eggs, so I'll probably pick up three dozen. Pick up some hamburger buns, waffle fries, and I noticed that they have chicken breasts. I want to say it was 76 cents a pound or something like that, and you could get two big packages, so I'm going to do that. They also had beef roast for $1.99 a pound. You could get two of them, so I'm going to pick up two beef roasts. I don't really need those, but it was such a good price, I'm gonna get them and stick them in the freezer. My grocery haul this week, I needed some green beans, I got some squash and zucchini, a red bell pepper, some mushrooms, and some raspberries. We're gonna make some raspberry tea. Big thing of potatoes, three dozen eggs, a package of hamburger buns, the waffle cut fries, and I found a couple sale items I want to put in my freezer. Uh, chicken breast was 76 cents a pound. So I went ahead and got the two package max that I could get. And then the eye of the round uh, roast beef was $1.99 a pound. And I could get two of those. Our total this week was $59.15. Not too bad considering $32 of this is going in the freezer in the form of meat. So I'm pleased with this week's shopping. Well, that's our meal plan for this week. I hope to get working on a homestead update video for you guys. I know many of you have been asking me uh, for quite a while now. It's been probably, gosh, close to a year since we did an update on it. So I'm gonna work on that for you guys and get it edited and all that kind of stuff and get it out to you let you see what we have going on and what we've accomplished. But until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Happy meal planning, and I'll talk to you in the next video.